Now we're looking at breakout rooms. So what um, breakout rooms are, are smaller um, rooms, um, virtual rooms that you can send um, students to um, to work on particular projects or assignments. So it's, think of it like an online group um, space or place, um, group workplace. Um, it's also a good way of doing um say you were doing a whole staff meeting, you could organise different stage groups or different um, teaching teams to work in particular breakout rooms. So as the host, you can set up breakout rooms and you can also manually assign students to breakout rooms um, or set up a random assignment of students to breakout rooms. So in order to set up a breakout room, I click on this breakout room icon I tell, I tell Zoom how many breakout rooms to create. So I want to say I've got groups of, I've got five groups. So I'm going to have five breakout rooms and then I can either assign um, the students to automatically just randomly be sent to a room. I can manually assign a room, uh, manually assign students to a room, or I can let participants choose a room. Now, um, this one and this one, so option one, automatically assign and option three, let participants choose rooms, um, will, um, once it's set up, will happen um, once you open the breakout rooms. Um, this one here will assign manually. You can only manually assign students or partic meeting participants to a room when you have participants in your meeting. So this particular meeting has no participants, so I cannot um, manually assign them to a room, um, but I will do another screencast um, which shows you how to do that when you have a list of meeting participants in a meeting with you um, and how you can um, assign them to particular rooms. So I'm going to set up um, let participants choose and I'm going to hit create and you can see now my rooms are created. Um, they're just named room one to five. If I wanted to name them something else, like say my reading groups or my mass groups, I can rename them and, um, you know, put in the name of the room. Um, so if the students are choosing and you give the instruction, please go to your reading group room, uh, please go to your um, breakout room, which is your reading group, or please go to your breakout room, that's your homeroom group, then the students know where to go. You can see this assign button. So if I, if I had participants in my meeting, when I click on that, um, the list of my participants open up here and I can um, select them and assign them to that re that room. Now this um, just kind of sits in the background of your meeting until you're ready to um, open all rooms. So the rooms are, are there and they exist, but no one is able to access those rooms until you and the host, until you and the as the host um, allows them to access those rooms. So when I'm ready for my students to be able to access those breakout rooms, I click on open all rooms, and you can see. Um, the rooms are now open. I have a message to say that the participants have been invited to join the breakout rooms. Um, and um, if it was choose your, if the setting was choose your own room, um, the the meeting participants will see the list of rooms and they'll get to select. If it was um, automatically assigned, if they were automatically assigned a room, they'll just be sent to a room. Or if they're manually assigned a room, then they'll just be sent to a room. When I'm ready to finish off the rooms, I just close all rooms. Um, I find it's good to broadcast a message um, to the participants in the rooms just to let them know you've got five minutes left. Um, as the host, you can also jump into the different rooms and just check um, how the students are progressing at any time. Um, or the students can send you a message um, if they have a particular question, or they might even send you a message to ask you to join their room.